Understanding question types. Questions are very important in English. They help us learn new things. They also help us talk to other people. In the IELTS test, you need to know different types of questions. This will help you do better on the test. Let's look at some question types. Yes, no questions. These are easy questions. They have two answers, yes or no. Examples. Are you happy? Is it raining? Do you like pizza? To answer, you can say yes or no. You can also add more. Yes, I am happy. No, it is not raining. Yes, I like pizza very much. Why? Questions. These questions start with words like what, where, when, why, who, and how. They ask for more information. Examples. What is your name? Where do you live? When is your birthday? Why do you like English? Who is your best friend? How old are you? To answer, give the information the question asks for. My name is John. I live in London. My birthday is on May 15th. I like English because it's fun. My best friend is Sarah. I am 25 years old. Choice questions. These questions give you options to choose from. Examples. Do you prefer tea or coffee? Is your house big or small? Are you happy or sad today? To answer, pick one of the choices. I prefer tea. My house is small. I'm happy today. Tag questions. These are statements with a short question at the end. They usually ask for agreement. Examples. It's a nice day, isn't it? You like chocolate, don't you? We're going to the park, aren't we? To answer, say if you agree or not. Yes, it is a nice day. No, I don't like chocolate. Yes, we are going to the park. Indirect questions. These are polite ways to ask for information. They often start with phrases like, could you tell me? Or, do you know? Examples. Could you tell me where the bathroom is? Do you know what time it is? I was wondering if you could help me. To answer, give the information. The bathroom is down the hall on the right. It's 3.30 p.m. Sure, I'd be happy to help you. Open-ended questions. These questions can have many answers. They often ask for your opinion or ideas. Examples. What do you like to do in your free time? How was your weekend? What's your favorite food and why? To answer, give your thoughts or experiences. In my free time, I like to read books and play soccer. My weekend was great. I went to the beach with my family. My favorite food is pizza because it's tasty and I can put many toppings on it. Closed questions. These questions have a specific short answer. They often ask for facts. Examples, what's the capital of France? How many days are in a week? What color is the sky? To answer, give the correct fact. The capital of France is Paris. There are seven days in a week. The sky is blue, leading questions. These questions suggest an answer. Be careful with these. They can be tricky. Examples. You don't like spicy food, do you? Isn't this the best movie ever? Don't you think we should go home now? To answer, say what you really think. Actually, I do like spicy food. It's a good movie, but I've seen better ones. Yes, I think it's time to go home. Rhetorical questions. These are questions that don't need an answer. People often use them to make a point. Examples. Who doesn't love ice cream? Isn't life beautiful? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to answer these questions, but you can agree if you want. You're right, everyone loves ice cream. Yes, life is beautiful indeed. I'm sorry, I'll listen better next time. Follow-up questions. These questions come after an answer. They ask for more information. Examples. What's your job? First question. I'm a teacher. Answer. What subject do you teach? Follow-up question. Do you have any pets? First question. Yes, I have a dog. Answer. What's your dog's name? Follow-up question. To answer, give more details. I teach English to young children. My dog's name is Max. Tips for answering questions. Listen carefully to the whole question. If you don't understand, ask, could you repeat that, please? Take a moment to think before you answer. Answer the question that was asked. Be honest in your answers. It's okay to say, I don't know if you're not sure. Practice answering different types of questions. 
Question words to know. Here are some important question words. What? Asks about things. Where? Asks about places. When? Asks about time. Why? Asks about reasons. Who? Asks about people. How? Asks about the way something happens. Which? Asks about choices. Whose? Asks about ownership. Practice questions. Now, let's practice with some questions. Try to answer these. What's your favorite color? Where do you live? When do you usually wake up? Why are you learning English? Who is in your family? How do you get to school or work? Do you prefer summer or winter? You like music, don't you? Could you tell me where the nearest store is? What do you think about learning new languages? Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get at answering questions. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when learning a language. The important thing is to keep trying and learning. In the IELTS test, you will see many different types of questions. Some will be in the reading part, some will be in the listening part. And in the speaking part, the examiner will ask you questions directly. Here are some final tips for the IELTS test. Read or listen to each question carefully. Make sure you understand what the question is asking. Answer all parts of the question. If it's a writing question, plan your answer before you start writing. In the speaking test, take a deep breath and try to relax. If you don't know an answer, don't panic. Move on to the next question. Practice, practice, practice. Understanding different question types will help you in the IELTS test. It will also help you in everyday English conversations. Keep learning and practicing. Good luck with your English journey.